Welcome to, to the Denison University post-game presser for game two of the NCAA Division III Granville Regional here with Milliken, Univer uh, Milliken University. We'll start with an introduction of the player and then a statement from head coach. I'm Andy Niebergy for Milliken first baseman. Head coach Brandon Townsend. Okay, coach, just kind of give yeah. us a little synopsis of today. Yeah, um, didn't play our game and gave them a lot of freebies. Um, I thought we came out and swung the bat well, um, which showed. And then we kind of lost our footing a little bit. And uh, credit to Rowan, they did a great job. They found a lot of barrels, and uh, they made us pay for some mistakes we had. And then we ended up chasing. And when we're chasing, we're just not the same team. So bouncing off of that, Andy, just talk a little bit about your all's approach kind of to start the game. You had good success there scoring in the first two innings. Uh, but every time you scored, Rowan came back and scored. So what was working well for you guys on one end, but then not so much on the other side? Um, I feel like it started out, we answered really well. Um, we were able to bounce back and score some runs when they scored and matched them. But towards those middle innings, their pitcher kind of settled in, and we kind of let them just keep cruising. And we weren't able to string together a bunch of good ABs and get some more runs in until those last innings. So I think we just got to pick it up tomorrow, be able to play a full nine, and compete in the middle innings as well. Okay. And Coach, just talk a little bit about the difference between playing in the regular season and here now being in the regional, um, what that's going to take from your players to kind of keep the season going. Yeah, I think uh, – there's nothing different. Um, we've played one of the hardest schedules in the country on purpose. Um, we opened the season with some of the top ranked teams in the country, just like Rowan is a top ranked team. And uh, our, we need to play our style. And I felt like maybe that we got out of it a little bit from what Rowan made us do, which like I said, credit to them, they did a great job. Um, they didn't let us get going um, and they kept responding, they kept punching and uh, we couldn't get our feet on the ground in the middle. So hopefully responding is just control what we can control and that's how you slow things down here. When things get going fast in those middle innings, we just need to slow down. Okay. And then kind of my last question, a little bit of momentum there in that ninth inning, put a couple runs up. Does that give you any kind of confidence and momentum going into tomorrow or just different day, to. different game? You have to use it. I mean, I hope our hitters use it. We, we got the tying run to the plate. I don't care what the score is, you get the tying run to the plate in the ninth inning you have a chance, so. Anything on your end? So I was able to talk to some of your guys' family and friends uh, pregame, and they spoke extremely highly about the culture that you guys have. I think that that's absolutely proven, you know, what we saw today, starting out with a lot of hot bats and ending with that fire. Can you guys just talk about this super special season that you guys have had and how that's going to translate into the rest of the weekend here in Grand Um I just think that one of the best things of being on this team is the culture and how guys are always there for each other and guys always pick each other up. So, you know, even when you're having a rough day, there's other guys that will step in and pick you up. So I think that's really helped us on this run as, you know, some guys are going to be having rough days, and it's all about how the team can come together and figure out how to win, figure out ways to win. That's yeah. all I have. Best of luck the rest of the weekend, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <clears throat>